question that just came in that was, um, have you seen a tumor that is not suitable for gamma knife or radiation, any kind of stereotactic radiation because of where the tumor is located in relation to the, um, the facial nerve? And then I also wanted to ask about several patients talked about twitching, particularly in their eyes um, following radiation. And what is your experience with that? So I'll, ask this, I'll answer the second one first. I have not, I've seen maybe one or two patients um, twitch a little bit um, after gamma knife, but not very often, hundreds of cases. I really haven't seen anyone develop hemifacial spasm or any sort of fasciculations. I personally have not. I'm sure it exists. I just haven't seen that much of it. Sometimes what you could hypothesize is that maybe that's a facial nerve schwannoma. Mm -hmm. um, so there are facial nerve schwannomas too. Uh, and, and if your first treatment wasn't surgery and, and there wasn't a surgeon who went in and actually could inspect and test which nerve it was growing off of, there are some schwannomas that grow off the facial nerve. When we see mm -hmm. that, I've seen patients come in with some weakness and some spasms and you radiate them just the same, but their facial nerve symptoms are significant. Um, there, are definitely, there are definitely tumors that because of the relationship to the nerves and the relationship to the brain stem, surgery is better. Um, oftentimes you'll go in and it's more the trigeminal nerve in my practice. If there's compression of the nerve that feels your face, you really got to go in and roll that tumor off of the nerve that feels your face or else your face is going to either continue to have sensory symptoms like pain or numbness. It's never going to get better. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't, but you can't, I don't know of a study that before surgery can tell you exactly where the facial nerve is in relation to the tumor. Uh, unless it's really tiny. If the, if the tumor is really tiny, you can see the facial nerve on the Fiesta MRI scan, which is this really high def scan. But if the tumors are bigger and they're crowding things in that bony canal, you just can't tell where the facial nerve is. And at surgery, you can figure it out. But before surgery, it's really hard to know. So most of the surgical decisions are made based on the trigeminal nerve, the brain stem, size, things like that. Okay. 